Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how I painted playground in one of the schools in Southampton. So just to brief you, um, this is a school for children with special needs. So um, we had a whole team of, um, you know, of architects and contractors that um, created and renovated the entire building. So this is the playground. As you can see, we had a painting job on the entire tarmac area. The school has been left in a very rough state and this is pretty much the school after renovation. So just before the school opening in September. As you can see, there is a bunch of new colors, a bunch of um, stickers, some sort of design solutions. Um, so there's been a lot of works um, all the way around school. But today we're going to talk about the playground job, the job that I did with my fellow um, with my fellow colleague and I'm gonna take you step by step to the progress so the job number one was actually to design the playground artwork but then the next job was to create stencils stencils are extremely important in order to understand the scale and um, sometimes to see the actual location um, in real life on site so it's one thing to design something on the laptop and the other thing to do it on site actually. So we're starting from cutting out the stencils and then using charcoal to create the outlines of the games. Day number one, we started with the jump game. So we created the outline and we painted it with a special Britannia playground paint. Day number two. So it was actually the most productive and the longest day. We started our work at about 9 a.m. and we finished 9 p.m. with literally like a half an hour break throughout the day. But it was really fun. There was a lot of measuring, a lot of taping, a lot of precise, uh, precise work. Um, so now you're gonna see how the artwork was taped up. As you can see, the scale is very big and we had to take a lot of time to precisely tape up the exact location of the artwork, as you can see here. So that was the proposal. We designed the floor graphics and today is a day when it's going to get painted. We'll keep you updated. So that was my little intro from the site. So the next step was to um, place or locate the col colors accordingly to the design. In terms of the paint, I did use um, specific professional paint for tarmac and asphalt. I will include the link below, so um, if you're ever looking to get a playground paint, the um, Britannia paint is really good, so you can go and order and it's also not very pricey. Also a quick mention in terms of equipment. If you are planning to paint a playground, it is a good idea to bring a white chalk with you on site. Not only it allows you to create outlines of the artwork, but also to place the information in the correct place. While the playground work is getting done, we have a team that is putting the signs up. We'll keep yeah, that's a sign uh, for the school. The other thing is to keep your work and site secure and protected. So as you can see, we did have a bunch of accessories to um, kind of mark the painting, um, the painting area. The school was actually not open yet, so we did not have a bunch of children running around. However, we did have a lot of public such as visitors or teachers, so we had to place a beware signs all over the place. And the painting process began. So we did actually have a lot of accessories. Um, we did have a lot of brushes, trays, brushes of different thickness, different sizes. And we did use one tray and brush per color. It always makes the job easier if you are well organized and keep everything um, in one place. As I mentioned before, this day was the longest. So we actually left side around 9, 5 p.m dark all over the place and we really wanted to you know get at least 95% of the work done 
we were actually in charge of other design areas in the school but in this video we're just going to focus on the playground paint day three preparation of the uk playground game as well as finishing the geometric shapes day four snakes and ladders so that was the last game that we were painting um you know on site the beautiful thing about this project is that we actually hand painted the entire playground like here we were doing everything by hand painting numbers colors everything bespoke and in the meantime so we're on the site now today we have the last touches for the school opening so we have the windows being cleaned um, as well as the paint getting ready this is snakes and ladders game which will be finalized today so that's new it's been painted in yesterday this is the map the map is the UK for geography lessons and that's it really the painting job was done in four four days it came out incredible the client the head teacher investors everyone was really happy with it we actually did a great job designing it the design of the external playground and interior works was done within um, Fossi Aurora um, interior design company and the actual playground painting was done within my Nova art studio it was actually very beautiful and insightful to create um, a design on the laptop see it on the screen and then actually paint it on site and see it um, in real life we had to consider a number of factors, um, mainly children, obviously the people, the little people that are going to use the playground. Since it's a school for children with special needs, we did have to work out the best color scheme. The color scheme couldn't be um, too bright, but also the games, the design had to be insightful, um, you know, um, knowledgeable so that the children could use it during the lessons. The main idea behind the playground design was to kind of engage children to go into further into the school. That's why we decided to kind of create the design that goes all the way from the from the beginning, from the entrance, the entrance game, and that kind of follows all the way around. We wanted children to feel free, to feel playful, to feel comfortable and to enjoy the place where they actually stay um, stay in you know throughout half of the day and the place where they actually gain a lot of knowledge from this specific school in southampton is actually great because they do have a guide dogs within the kind of school teaching curriculum that helps children um, as part of their therapy progress so I really can't wait to see the playground being in use and helping children learn and explore new things. So I hope this video was interesting to you and um, insightful if you're ever planning on painting a playground. Um, if you want to get in touch, you have my email, comment below, make sure you like and subscribe.